Hey, what's up? It's Mike from Lethal Addiction. Bow hunting. This is the lab. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Show you uh, one thing that I got, uh, which is pretty cool. This right here is a bicycle mount that I use for a bow vise. 30 bucks on Amazon. Save you a bunch of money compared to the OMP or the other brands that are out there. But this thing is awesome. I can get my arrow height, line my rest up, check the burger hole. Um, I just got it mounted on my bar top here. But I can do a lot of things here that you could spend a bunch of money on a vise or you can buy this. And it mounts easy to your stabilizer and it opens up wide enough that you can clip it to the, uh, the grip here. And another cool feature, you just rotate it just like this here. Now I can work on my bow horizontally. So pretty much can do whatever you need to do with this $30 bow vise. We'll call it a vise. Actually a bike clamp, but it's all good. Next thing, highly recommend Last Chance Easy Green Press. If you're doing your own bow work, owning a press is going to make everything a lot easier for you. Um, they're user friendly, easy to set up, comes with everything you need. Comes with the bow fingers here, comes with another limb stop uh, finger, so you don't have to remove. I think it's for the Matthews, but I don't have any bows that I need to use it. But this thing is super solid, easy to get. Uh, they're hard to find online right now, but I got mine for Black Ovis. Huge shout out to them. They shipped it in three days, and I had it within eight, I believe. So, Georgia company, Air Force veteran owned, USA, got to support it. Huge shout out to Last Chance for the Easy Green Press. Um, let's see, some other things that you'll need. You will need a Allen Key set. I got these at Harbor Freight. Eight bucks. All the T-handles that you could ever want. From sizes 3 8 to 3 30 seconds. Eight dollars at Harbor Freight. And then I got some other ones. You can never have too many Allen wrenches. Another T-handle. Solid metal ones with the rubber coating on the handle. I got my bow hanger up here. I got my pegboard over here with all my stuff. Uh, vapor trail colors for whenever I want to, whatever I want to order or I'm referring them to somebody, I can just show them the color of the string instead of what it looks like online because the natural is actually white, but online it looks cream colored. Uh, another thing everybody probably has laying around the house, tape measure, you'll need that. And a little magnetic tray here for the press. I keep limb stops and bolts and other random things in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the lab. This is where I built the Prime. Build video is going to be following this one. Uh, it'll actually be part of it because I don't have any audio from when I built the bow. So I'm going to show you guys around the lab. Get into the bow build. Get into some shooting. And this thing was a dream to paper tune because it only took one shot. And stick around. Enjoy it.
All right, y'all, that's it. Prime Logic CT3, build complete. See you on the next one.